All right, everybody, this is Island Hopper TV, and today we're coming to you from Dallas, Texas. Let's get into it. Here we are in downtown Dallas on Main Street. We're gonna walk around, you can see right here, several different hotels. Show you guys this iconic downtown Dallas skyline and what it looks like down here at the ground level. All right, in this Dallas travel guide here, we're gonna show you around the JFK assassination area, show you guys the farmer's market, take you across the Trinity River on that really cool bridge it's over there with the Margaret Hunt Hill. And then we are also going to take in some Texas barbecue. So this is going to be a really fun episode from Dallas, Texas. If this is your first time to Island Hopper TV, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel. Let's keep going. There are several areas around downtown Dallas that you'll want to check out, including the Arts District, Uptown, and designer district so you get a lot of variety down here and it is a cosmopolitan city down here in Dallas kind of reminds me of Chicago uh, but downtown in Dallas so this here is the AT&T Discovery District you can see it's got this sound dome it looks like big old Megatron like you have in Times Square Dallas is home to many large corporations here in the United States, including AT&T, who built this Discovery District. Now you also have Comerica, 7-Eleven, and a few other uh, major corporations that are headquartered here in Dallas, so uh, their power and influence does reign over this big metropolis. Now, what we're going to do now is head over to the JFK assassination site and show you guys the memorial here, which is near the Trinity River. I was surprised to see the location. I expected it to be more central, but it is actually near the river, near the old town. So here we are at the JFK memorial. He was actually assassinated 200 yards from this memorial, but, uh, there's the whole story right here. If you guys wanted to come here and read it, let's go take a look at this site. The memorial and the site where this actually occurred is nothing special. Uh, you could come to Dallas and easily not see it, but if you are into the history of Dallas, uh, they do have a couple museums and information around the area that for most part, if you're a historical person, probably would be interesting but the memorial itself is nothing special now the grassy knoll that you guys still remember from the story uh, again nothing really special just a grassy knoll the building where the shots allegedly came from also uh, not really that special again the whole area is uh, just very bland is just literally the site where the incident occurred but I'm not gonna walk away from here saying wow I'm so glad that uh, I came here and saw it because it's really just kind of faded in time so here we are on Elm and Market right outside the historic end of Dallas. Let's go take a look. looking for western clothing you can come over here to wild bill's western store look at that steer head right there that's pretty big huh
Dallas really is a cosmopolitan city, as you can see with these 555 luxury apartments right here on Ross Avenue. And in Dallas, as many big cities, they do have an aquarium. So this is the Dallas World Aquarium. Dallas is a town of a lot of mass transit options. You can see right here is the West Transfer Center. They have a light rail, buses, major international airport, and a free rail car that takes you up and down McKinney Avenue, which we'll be doing a little bit later. For all of you who like shopping, this is where the first Neiman Marcus store was ever put up, and right here in Dallas. You can see the history in 1907. There is quite a bit of art here in Dallas. There's the old Western style art with the steers and the Longhorns, but then you also have this modern new art, like this giant eyeball that you see here, which is, I don't know if it's uh, scary, morbid, odd, or really cool. You decide. Here we are at Thanksgiving Square and you can even see, you can get some carriage rides on these horses. But right over here is Thanksgiving Square. If you guys are looking for a place, come check out. It's closing right now, so we can't go in there, but Thanksgiving Square, add it to your list of places to check out. Some quick facts about Dallas. It's actually the uh, fourth largest metropolitan area in the country with Dallas and Fort Worth, if you combine them all, it's about 7.5 million. The city of Dallas is uh, actually smaller than Houston and San Antonio, if you talk about the size of the city itself, but in terms of the metro area, it is pretty big. Now, another thing to consider about Dallas is, what is it known for? Well, big techs. Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, which is a major hub. Also 7-Eleven. So big tech from the State Fair, by the way. But pretty cool city if you guys get a chance to check it out. It's got a very uh, nice, green, lush feeling down here. So here we are basically in the city center of Dallas. If you look over here, you can see the Comerica building, the AT&T buildings right behind that. This is a really big sky skyline here. Way off in the distance is an observation deck. If you zoom in real quick, you can actually see the observation deck at Reunion Tower. If you look behind me here, you can see these three flags. The one on the left there is the city of Dallas flag, in the middle is the Texas flag, and on the right is the American flag, obviously. <laughs> if you guys look at this anthill here, they've uh, dug up so much dirt that now even little trees are growing in there. And now here we are at the 
Dallas Farmer's Market. This is a cosmopolitan area with organic food. And people live in apartments right around this area. And you can tell it's definitely a place you will want to come on the weekends for sure. So here we are at the Dallas Farmer's Market. We're gonna show you guys around. Uh, you can get pretty much anything you need that's organic out here. So we decided to get some tacos here uh, at the farmer's market. Carne asada right there. So this here is the shed at the farmer's market. Lots of booths uh, for food. So now what we're gonna do is ride the trolley. Supposedly it's free. But I did buy this pass here, it's called the Transit Pass. Uh, it's $6 per person for an all day pass around just the uh, city center here. So yeah, right here, $6. You buy it from one of those machines. Now we are on McKinney Street in Uptown Dallas. We're gonna show you guys around. You can see there's lots of bars around here. McKinney Street is in Uptown Dallas. This is where you come to enjoy some nightlife. It's one of the many pubs or uh, breweries and restaurants around this area. Pretty fun at night. Dallas does have a very French colonial feel to it that I think a lot of people don't mention but should. There's also a little bit of a, uh, you know, Western Americana feeling to it, but there's an undertone of that French colonial America definitely here in Dallas. What we're going to do now is head across the Trinity River, get a bite to eat, show you guys the other side of the river here in Dallas, and uh, cross this cool bridge, Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. So this here is the Trinity Skyline Trail. You can actually walk from one side of Dallas to the other, crossing the Trinity River. And then you can see the Margaret Hunt Highway Bridge right behind me, a pretty cool uh, <laughs> architectural feat going over the Trinity River as well. If you look way down there, you'll see the river.
now we're gonna go get some Texas barbecue here at Bab Brothers Barbecue. Let's do it. See here, I got some ribs. I got a half a rack, collard greens, and cheddar potatoes. Delicious. Okay, everybody. Uh, we just showed you around downtown Dallas. There's a lot more to it. We didn't show you everything. We tried to show you as much as we could, though. Uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, the whole area. That would take several days to cover. And we might have to do that at a later date, but thanks for watching this one. Watch some of these other videos, and we'll see you guys on the next episode.